Hello, Group 3 students. Welcome back to another tutorial video with Mr. Genesis. How exciting. So, uh, we are still at Ratio. Um, apparently, a lot of you don't know the meme of Ratio. I thought, I thought you guys would know. Well, I'm not that old, I guess. I'm still up to trend. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go through these kind of questions where you have to solve a letter. Oh, never mind. This one you don't have to solve yet. So over here, they just want you to represent the ratio of A and B. So in that case, you would have to uh, put A and B on the same side, A over B. All right. So again, let's make sure that this one is not equals to B over A because A is first. A has to be on the top. So this one's equals to A over B. All right, so this is our goal. We want to make this fraction. In order to do that, we got to move B to the left. So it's going to be times B on the left will be divided by B equals 15. Then after that, I'm going to move 6 to the right. So what's, gonna, uh, what's 6 going to look like? Currently, it's 6 times A, 6 divided by B, right? Um, but... We always focus on the top. How is 6 related to the top? So it's 6 times A on the top. So on the right side is going to be divide. 15 divided by 6. It usually looks like the opposite on the other side anyways. So now we have A over B. And that can be changed to a, fra uh, a ratio. A to B is equals to 15 to 6. Make sure this is simplified because sometimes you have to simplify it, which is on the next question here. Uh, what we're going to do is, you can actually just swap these two. You will notice that they will be swapped. So it's going to be 18b equals to... If there's no number, you don't put 0 because 0 divided by 32 is 0. The whole thing disappears. So it got to be 1, 1 over 32. And 18 goes to the right. 18 is going to be times on the right, so it's going to be 1 over 32 times 18. When you multiply something, it actually belongs to the top. It doesn't belong to the bottom. Be careful with that. The negative can go up or down because it's the same for a negative. But for numbers, it must go to the top. Okay, so be careful. Times 18. So it's going to be 18 over 32. Now, this one in your calculator, 18 divided by 32 can be simplified. If you do shift ABC, it's going to be 1 over 2. So make sure you simplify before you end your answer. A to B is 1 to 2. So you can see that B is 2 times larger than A. Alright. Uh, so yeah, mostly more or less the same. Let's just move on to... These are more complicated ones. So over here, you want to combine all the A's together first. So they have single A. 10A minus A equals to 3b so you have 9a equals to 3b and then you continue from there okay that's the only new thing there hey what is that oh i just realized i repeated the same question twice too bad anyways uh moving on to a different question over here Find the unknown in each of the following. So you have to solve A here. You will not see a B. It's a different type of question. You, you have to solve A, basically. Now, I want A to be on the left every time. So in order to have A on the left, we're going to swap the fractions, left and right. Just swap them. Don't change anything. Just swatch, swap them like this. Okay, so now A is on the right. All you have to do is just move 36 to the right. So how is 36 going to move? It's currently divided, divided from A. So on the right side, it's 36 times. And put this on the calculator. You have 5 times 36 divided by 9, or 5 divided by 9 times 36. Same thing. It's 20. So A equals to 20. Over here, same problem. We want to have A on the left. So 28 divided by A equals 4 over 11. And then you're faced with a problem. So when A is in the bottom, I'm going to tell you guys to flip it. So you learned this in the first lesson, actually. Remember to flip, put A on the top so that things are easier for us. Uh, make sure you flip the right side as well. 
it gotta be balanced. It's unfair if you only flip one side. So A is on one side now. I mean on the top side, easier for us to move 28. Again, if you don't flip this, I'll show you how it hap how it's gonna be. If you don't flip it, you move 28 to the right. It's gonna be four divided by 11, divided by 28. Then it's not just gonna be A because A is at the bottom, okay? It's actually one over A. So it's really complicated. Let's just follow my way so that we don't complicate stuff. Now let's calculate this. 11 times 28 divided by 4 is 77. So we have A equals to 77. Okay, that's another type, kind of question. The last one is solving a kind of like real life problem. This is where ratio comes in. If you are going to divide like something to two persons, you say... Oh, Kristen gets three of everything while, um, well, Carlton maybe gets four instead. So Carlton gets more, right? So in fraction, actually, this one is going to be, uh, Kristen's going to get three out of seven. How got seven is three plus four. While Carlton is going to get four out of seven. So a bit more for Carlton's side. Okay, that's the meaning of ratio over here. That's the use of ratio. Now, if you want to find how many you're going to have for portion A, okay, so let's just have A divided by, you're going to make use of this, these two fractions again. So we're back to the two fractions, right? Uh, so if you match the colors, we have portion A as 3, while we have portion B as 4. So A here is going to be in blue in color, which is 3. The ratio is 3. Now it says here 105, the number 105, 105 candies, for example, is divided to two portions, A and B. So we want to find from the ratio, 3 out of 7 is going to be how many candies? So if you multiply 3 out of 7 to 105, how many candies is that? Using my way, you can also um, get that step by doing this. So we're going to do everything. So blue plus red is purple. I'll use purple. If you add blue and red together, it's purple, 105. So if you add the ratio, so on the right side, it's ratio. On the, re on the left side is candies or number. Number. 105 is actually everything, right? So you have to add the ratio, 3 plus 4, everything, which is 7. So finally, you will still end up with what I was talking about. 3 over 7 times 105 will be how many portion allocated for 8. 3 divided by 7 times 105 is 45. So A is 45. If you want to calculate B instead, B, then you're going to change this ratio to 4. And the calculation is still the same. Now make sure you calculate this first. You don't want to have uh, 3 divided by 3 plus 4 in your calculator. That's going to give you the wrong answer. So calculate this first, 7. Another question, uh, let's have a more... Oh, it's really simple. That's sad. Okay, simple questions. Um, same thing. So we're going to find the portion of B. So now we're finding B. The ratio for it is 7. The total ratio is 13 plus 7. How many candies is for total? 120, right? So we're using purple, 120, number, ratio. Actually, ratio is quite, uh, quite useful if you know how to use it properly. It can find basically everything. It's like a relationship between two things, and then you can find something out of the relationship. Anyways, 7 divided by 13 plus 7 is 20. Move 120 to the right. So you have 7 out of 20, which is B. 7 out of 20 times 120. 
7 divided by 20 times 120, 42. So you have 42 for, oops, B. The portion for B will be 42. And that's how you do this question. Uh, I'm using this way because I want to keep things consistent throughout the whole chapter. I've been using this ratio method for since the beginning. And I'm planning to use this method throughout. Uh, later on, most likely, you will notice that it's quite useful because you don't need to think which method to use or we're just using the same every time. Okay, so that is it for this video. I'm going to see you at school. See ya.